hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have completed our parkour system now from this video onwards we will start working on the fighting system and rifle system so first of all go ahead and download these two vendor files the first one is the rifles and the second one is the animations and make sure that you have downloaded the winrar in your computer so let's go ahead and extract this first one which is rifles so if we right click then in the winrar let's click on extract here so this is the folder in which we have the sword the grenade the launcher and the rifle then we have this second winrar file let's extract this as well and in here we have the animation for these fight modes okay so if you get back to unity click on player model and right here click on show in explorer now in here we will just simply drag and drop these two or you can copy and paste it as well once you do that as you can see it is now imported in unity we have the animations right here in which we have the bazooka animation the fist fight the rifle and sword attack and these other ones are the parkour animations okay our folder name was the same so that unity just simply paste that insert this folder animation by itself and then if we click on this rifles in here if we check the grenade as you can see this is the grenade which we will be using and if you check the other ones this is the sword and then the other two rifles so in this video we will be adding the grenade so if we click on scripts right here inside the scripts folder we will create another folder by the name of rifles and inside this rifles we will create a c sharp script by the name of grenade then if you go inside the player model rifles grenade swords let's drag and drop this grenade right here okay so as you can see this is the grenade and what we will do with it is first of all we will click on prefab unpack completely then let's rename this as well to grenade then open up the scripts folder and from here we will drag and drop the grenade script right there after this we will add a box collider to this grenade game object and let's resize this to 0.04 0.04 and 0.04 as you can see this is the box collider for this grenade you can resize the box collider added according to your own grenade game object okay as you can see right here i've resized this to 0.08 for the x and y and for the z it is 0.1 so now it fits the whole grenade then after this add a rigid body to this grenade and that will be it now if we open up the grenade script right here remove the start and update method and at the top let's create a public float by the name of grenade timer this will be the timer that how many seconds after the grenade will explode so we will just set 3 seconds then right down below create another float by the name of countdown and then in the start method we will equal the countdown to the grenade timer and then in the update method which is called every second in this what we will do we will decrease the countdown by 1 every second so we will say time dot delta time and then we will say that if this countdown become less than or equals to 0 then we will simply explode the grenade 
so for explosion we will be creating another method by the name of explode and for now we will just show a message in the console such as grenade exploded and then right here when the countdown becomes zero we will call this method right here so we will say explode so now if we save the script and get back to unity let me move this grenade right here okay then let's go ahead and play the game you will notice that now after three seconds this grenade will show a message in the console as you can see grenade exploded but as you can see the explosion is happening every second and we don't want that we want that every grenade will be explored just once so for that at the top we will create a pool by the name of has explored and by default this will be equals to false then right here when we check if the countdown is less than or equals to zero we will now also check that if this has explored is false as well and when the condition is true then we will simply explode and then also with that we will set the has exploded to true because now the grenade is being exploded and when this is set to true then when the execution happens again then this time the has exploded will be equals to true so then the grenade will not be able to explode again and again okay so if we save that get back to unity and let's play the game again as you can see now when the grenade hits the ground and after three seconds the grenade is now as you can see exploded just once so with this basic explosion added now in the next video we will add effect to this grenade and also we will give damage to the surrounding objects so with this done i will see you in the next video